Hi, my name is Scott Tagawa. I'm a professor of medicine and neurology at Weill Cornell Medicine, Meyer Cancer Center in New York. At AUA 2025, I'm presenting a trial in progress presentation on the PROSTEC study, which is a phase three study of lutetium rosipatumab in patients with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. There are a number of different ways to target PSMA. Uh, what's approved is with small molecules. Antibodies are different, so they're able to target the tumor without targeting some of the other off-tumor areas of PSMA expression. Uh, lutetium, I think, is well known. This is a trial that is looking at patients that are in the chemo-naive setting with a combination of lutetium rosipatumab in combination with either ARPI or just a taxol. And the combination with chemotherapy is also different. I'm Joe Jacob from Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York, and I'm the director of urologic oncology there. I just presented the Sunrise One trial, and we presented new data today that 12-month durability and patient-reported outcomes. The key message is, to, is TAR-200 uh, therapy is going to change the way we treat this kind of bladder cancer. So this was a study looking at patients with BCG unresponsive, high-risk, non-muscle invasive bladder cancer with carcinoma in situ. This is a very difficult, difficult patient population to treat. The results are phenomenal. The complete response rate was 82.4%, and the complete response rate at 12 months was 45.9%. So not only was it a high complete response rate, but it was durable as well. We uh, haven't really seen numbers like this and the whole community is really excited about this new therapy. This patient population with metastatic CRPC in the chemo naive setting is mostly in the hands of urologists. Um, so they haven't been treated typically with prior chemotherapy uh, only with the oral hormonal drugs. So a lot of these patients reside in the urology practice and this may be a future option for them. It's extremely important to communicate this to urologists. I mean, urologists are the gatekeepers of bladder cancer. They're not only diagnosing bladder cancer, they're doing the surveillance and they're doing the, the treatment. And so this is, this is a uro urologic disease and we have to take ownership of it.